Go ahead. All right, welcome back. This next video is on the scroll saw. So uh, one of our uh, one of our three saws that we have in the shop that you guys are going to be using. So this saw actually has a blade that runs right down the center, and it goes up and down like this. Okay. Uh, one thing just to keep in mind when you are using this, this blade comes straight down, and there's an opening down here. Um, where the blade actually is. So if you are not careful and you stick your hand under here, that would be a big no-no because you could cut yourself, all right? Um, on the scroll saw, there's a couple safety features that we want to point out to you. This silver piece that's in this uh, plastic case is called the hold down foot. Um, and this is the hold down foot lock, okay? So to release the, the lock, you're just going to turn the knob like so. And this allows you to move your hold down foot up and down, okay? So you want this foot to be just right above your stock, okay? So that actually is perfect. Um, what this does is it ensures that the wood uh, is secured down to the tabletop while you're making your cuts, okay? Uh, we have a on off switch right here or a power switch. Uh, up is on, down is off. This here is the speed knob. This is gonna control the speed of our blade, how fast it's gonna be moving up and down. Um, this is really important when you're making rounded cuts like this. We're gonna make something called a relief cut. Uh, so we're gonna kind of take off part of it and then come back in at a different angle to make our cut just um, smoother and more efficient while we're cutting. Uh, when you have it on high, that's when you're making straight line cuts like this here, okay? Um, this here is called the blade tension knob. You normally will not need to use that at all. Um, Mr. Stinger or myself will take care of that if something goes wrong, okay? When we turn the machine on, we have a light that will turn on for us. We can see what we're doing. And we have this right here, this little shaft. It is called a blower. Um, it's actually gonna be blowing air in here to remove any of the sawdust uh, on our work. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this uh, cut. But before we go ahead and do that, safety first. Got goggles on, hair is tied back, sleeves up, jewelry is taken off and either in your pocket set here at, the, at your station. Um, so my ring and my watch are off. Uh, again, I have closed, closed toed shoes on. Um, if I have any like um, strings on a hoodie, make sure that's inside of your sweatshirt. Okay, um, so when we turn the machine on, we're gonna let the blade get up to full speed and we're gonna make our cuts. All right, so this knob here again is the speed knob. As you can see, that's sped it up and I can slow it down for making those relief cuts that we talked about. To start off, I am going to place my, my wood stock in here and I'm going to, through the chair, try to cut along the lines that I have drawn. So, and as you can see, I can kind of turn the wood as it's cutting. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because this is a straight cut. Now, I'm not pushing really hard against the blade. I let the blade do the work. And I'm just slowly moving the wood as it's cutting. All right, my first piece is done. I turn the machine off. Obviously, the uh, the blade needs to come to complete stop before I take out any any wood. Next, I'm just going to show you a rounded cut and how to kind of make a relief cut. Okay. So again, I'm going to turn the machine on, and I'm going to turn down the speed of the blade. And then I am once again going to just try to follow my, my cut line. And as you can see, I can kind of turn the wood as I'm going. I don't want to turn it too much where the blade snaps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the machine up and come in and cut off just that little piece. And now come back in again. That's going to take the tension off of the blade. I'm just going to go straight through my cut there and I'm going to move this piece out of the way before I make my final 
little cut on the edge here. All right. And there are my two cuts, my rounded cut and my straight. Um, when you are done, remember scrap wood goes in the garbage or the scrap bin, depending on the size of the wood. And then we are just going to clean up our station so it is cleaner than it was when you got there. So get all the dust out, get the dust off the table. Here. Most of this dust will be caught by the dust collector, but make sure it's nice and clean. All right, any questions, ask Mr. Singer or myself.